Start with the couple on the run from the law. The duo is accused of taking thousands of dollars from multiple families in a rental scam. Eight on your side, Jamel and is joining us live tonight from Largo at the house where so far 15 families have come forward. Jamel. That's right. Good evening to you, Keith. I can tell you that these victims gave these two suspects right here thousands of dollars, and they took off with the keys, leaving these families locked out with no money, no place to go. Santel Taylor pulled up to what she thought was her new home at 1091 Lexington Court in Largo. It was a lot of fake, yeah. Only to learn Nicole and David Johnson portrayed themselves as the homeowner and made lease agreements with more than a dozen families in a rental scam. Taylor gave them $1,100 for a deposit. Wow. And police are searching for them now in New York. And something, I took her tag number. This is crazy. Now me and my kids ain't got nowhere to go. Detectives say the Johnsons made an estimated $25,000 or more off of 15 families so far. Police tell us they believe the couple left the state Friday, making sure they were gone when the families showed up. Investigators say they were believable, even giving the victims tours, and then they would stall the families and make up stories like their newborn had just died. You're meeting this person who says they're so-and-so, and you're verifying that through county tax records, which a lot of these folks did. Four families showed up yesterday ready to move in. Some now staying in hotels, others homeless. Detectives believe the Johnsons targeted families with children. She's got my family displaced. If I would have seen her, I would I want to punch her in the face and deal with consequences out of uh, That's how those victims are feeling right now. I can tell you that police tell us that this house actually belongs to Nicole's father. She was using her mother's name, Lisa Dominique, as a cover-up. Now, we do know that there is a bolo out for the Johnsons, along with their children, in the state of New York. That's the latest here in Largo. I'm Jamela Nay for News Channel 8.